Hello YouTube, this is Charlie426 and today we have the review of the Master Grade Gun Tank. Uh, I got this recently, about I mean, about three days ago. Uh, I re recently I started to be interested in non-Gundam kits, or I mean non-Gundam mo non mobile suits. So the Gun Cannon, the Gun Tank, the GM series uh, started to get my attention. So there's this uh, Gundam shop that I usually go and they ha they happen to have only two of these left, so I bought this. Now the price is a little bit high for for the situation, but uh, after building this, uh, I was really satisfied with it. So I guess the price was okay then. Uh, so this kit came out on 2009. Before that, I really did not know because I thought the gun cannon and the gun tank sort of came out at the same time. So I thought this was a, like a really old kit, like made in the two, year 2000 or about that. But it happened to be made uh, made in 2009. So that's about, if I'm correct, is when the Master Grade 2.0 series started to take effect. So this, as bulky as it might look like but it has quite of a quite of a frame inside to it now uh, also one thing I'm really satisfied with it is how bulky and big this is and there's no extra like accessories or spare parts or like additional weapons to put this on so that's why I'm really satisfied with it so let's get on to the review uh, before uh, as you can see if you've seen the box or other you know people reviewing some I've seen reviews that they the visor or where the pilot sits in is blue. Now, as you can see, it's clear. Now, as it came, as you get the kit, it comes in just clear color. So a lot of people color it, but I'm not really good with coloring and never tried it. And somehow I feel like more satisfied with this color, so I'm just gonna stick with that as well. Now, uh, as you can see, this is more of a mold. Well. It's still a mobile suit, but it's one of the tank type mobile suits. Uh, I was also kind of waiting for the mass production type of this version to come out as Master Grade, but I guess that's never gonna happen, so I, that's why I also got this. Uh, as for starters, you get well, the one of the main features, as you can see, is the two long cannons. Uh, they're not much, they're on a peg on the shoulder and you can move up and down and a little bit to the left to the right only a little bit because of the head uh, uh, there's this it's not a metallic spring but it uh, I'm not sure how to say it. it's more like a half it's like ABS plastic but more a little bit more rubber into it and it's made it it's it looks like a spring so you can actually if this push effect now as you can see it, it, it let me get a little bit more closer now, uh, as you can see, this part, uh, I can push it in without breaking it, and it will just come back out, like, as if it's really shooting. So, I believe in one of the U uh, reviews on YouTube, someone actually mentioned that it, it would be, have been really great if they had put, actually, like, put effect parts, like, explosions, clear plastic, so we can make it more realistic. Uh, well, I do agree to that. Uh, besides that, that's basically it. The head doesn't really have much movement into it. Uh, of course, as, as you can see, you can see the pilot inside. Uh, it's a yellow plastic figurine. There's also more characters, but I'm not going to go through that because I'm not really interested in the characters itself. Uh, it opens up, but doesn't really open you know, too much because it's kind of like stuck in there in a way. So I'm not going to even try that. And one thing to notice for those who are really picky like me, uh, these red antennas, they are really, really weak. So... Be careful not to break it because I even seen there's one on display on at the store where I usually go buy Gundam kits all the freaking antennas of the GM's gun tank G, um, even gun cannons are freaking broken so that's how weak it is so I am I when I was building this I was extremely careful with these antennas so that's why I'm kind of avoiding of touching the head in order to you know not break it like well because of my last Master Grade uh, Dual Gundam review, like me snapping off the beam rifle. So that's it for the head. We'll go into the middle part of the body or arms. Uh, first things first, as you can see, these yellow vents they can open up, but they're not. To me, they look really unstable in a way because when you built this, 
um, usually you expect there's like pegs through on both sides, but that's not it. The pegs are actually only on one side, and these two set pieces, there's two yellow pieces, they are not exactly connected. They're mostly on a, a gear system, so if you one opens, the other one opens up. So, and the problem is they're only attached to this side, so if, I'm pretty sure I'm, if I try to open this, this will somehow pop off or something like that. So as you can see on the other side, it, it's about to open, so I'm going to try that. Yeah, there we go. That's how it looks like when it's open. I don't not much of a use, but just the effect. And of course, uh, in this instruction manual, it is mentioned that you can... Let me see if I can do this. Okay, give me a moment. I'm gonna get some extra tools. Because I believe in the instruction manuals, I'm pretty sure it's this way that you can, you are allowed to swivel this up, or maybe it's the other way around. So let me just check. There we go. So, well, to be honest, I wasn't really much observant in terms of games as well. Well, I barely use this guy in the games, but uh, I believe these are like, well, something that goes under the can or something, or maybe they're just vents, I don't know. But they look like them, so that's a neat feature. So, as you can see, what I was really impressed with this kit was that I thought this would be like a whole blocky easy kit but no it actually has all inner frames and a lot of details into it it was a really fun build and as I said this was also one of those kits that was influenced by a, the 2.0 series so these are one of those kits that they will never have a 2.0 because it's already influenced by the 2.0 as well uh, okay now let's get into the arms the arms were quite of uh, fun to build or half half fun half annoying first of the arms uh, they move about it well anywhere you want as you can see the shoulder it's weird so you just see it just popped off because the shoulder for, for example it's kind of difficult to see but uh, as you can this is just the shoulder armor so there's nothing holding it so it, it will move basically anywhere without even being locked so that's why it could be a little bit confusing while moving the arm so that's one thing um, you can move 360 um, any time, any position mostly, and you can. That's the amount of bent that I've given. This is about all the bent you can get. But one unique feature is that if you can, if you spin this part, it will give it like a swivel action, like as if it's shooting a real machine gun. So, well, I well these are machine guns, so it's a really neat feature that they actually gave that effect. Of course, building in order building this to give this effect was kind of annoying, and I tend to just keep them all at the same line most likely in order to, you know, make it look natural or the, the usual way we look at a gun tank. So, yeah. There we go. Now we're done with the arms. Now for the bottom section. Now this, well, this is my first time building. Of course, my first time, and this is like one of those kit. My first non-leg, or a kit that doesn't have any legs. Uh, before we go into the tricky parts, I'm gonna just show you the obvious parts. Well, on the back and front section, there's these opening parts. I believe the gun tank and the story, they were used to also not only like move around and shoot their cannons or defeat enemies, but they were also used to tow uh, damaged mobile suits and stuff. So, or, you know, move or carry mobile suits that's been damaged or that can't move, so they just somehow connect it to the back, and they just, you know, carry them around with them. Whoa, okay. And there's a, also a part where it opens. Uh, I've been in heavy artillery, mostly a 105mm howitzer, so what I'm like, expecting is that these are like a locking mechanism when they try to shoot, the, shoot their uh, upper cannons, so in order to, you know, not miss so it, in the ground. So this is not really for like the play playing part, but it's just another neat uh, detailed effect of on the mobile 
mobile suit itself. Now, uh, here's the where the tricky part is, and one thing I learned was never to build a master grade when I'm sleepy, because I actually made a really entire a horrible mis mistake while making this. So I had I had to take some part some parts you know apart again, but thank Godly uh, nothing broke. Now, as you can see, these are tire tra well tank tracks. I don't know what they call them in. in exactly in English by some people call them car caterpillar legs or whatever uh, now these are separate pieces as you can see there's this one you get exactly 80 pieces of these and you use about uh, 76 of them so 38 each on each side uh, two spares for each so you get four left uh, that's good that's actually a good thing for putting in some spare parts that you can actually use I wish more Gundam kids does that these days uh, now, these will move, but not on these kind of tracks. I mean, you gotta like press it really hard on the ground in order to make these move. If and these are really, how should I say, not not frail as in breakable, but these will get loose pretty easily if by like moving or pressing too much pressure on it. So I'm not even gonna try moving that. Now, also another neat feature is that there's this. How should I say? This is like a switch. Yeah, a switch. Uh, which can allow the wheels to actually like change position and go more up. So as you can sort of saw, well, it's it doesn't look that big, but yeah, they the wheels in here actually change their position in a bit, so a little bit more wider. Of course, this is a tank, so this is this is a function where it's prepared to go any kind of rocky ground. And also, you can not only this, but this is a the tank legs are able to pop out well not as in like you know detach but well of course you can detach it but yeah they can pop out and a little bit you can put into them more poses there's some interesting I've seen in videos they did more but f from for some reason this is the best I can do so yeah and I like mine just to be stable I just like mine like stable so I just push them back in so they don't you know I don't have any problems with that So yeah, uh, the wheels, uh, they, they're all a bit different except for the ones on the bottom, they're the same, but these two are different. And the tracks go into all these wheels, there's this another small line inside the wheels where, uh, you know, and there's a pe there's pegs coming out of the, on these, on the inside, so, so they won't slide off, so that's one good thing. Uh, and believe it or not, this is also a core fighter based uh, mobile suit. I was like surprised to see, okay, so the core fire thing was real because I've seen in games where he detaches his body and fires a core fighter from his body. So I was like, what? Uh, core fighter, same as the Gundam, how it works. As you can see, uh, you know what? Uh, let's just hope this works. There we go. Kind of an awkward way to put that way. <laughs> anyway, there's the core fighter. The. Um, I believe this is a 2.0 core fighter, uh, works same as the Gundam 2.0, not as the gun cannon, because the gun cannon is, I believe it's a 1.0 series, so it won't work on that. So yeah, uh, that's basically it, but I don't recall in the anime or other TV shows or in the game, like, showing you actually, like, showing the core fighter actually, like, you know, attaching to this part and then, you know, combining here, because that's uh, something I have never seen yet. And hope I won't. Now, uh, this is basically it. Well, I guess I forgot to mention about the back part. They got these thrusters, but I believe they can move a bit, but not too much. So yeah, that's basically it. There are a lot of decals, uh, but for now, I mean, there are decals. I, I say these are pretty good, but... And water slides, I believe. Oh, stickers and dry transfers, but I... I actually don't know where to put these. Uh, of course, on the manual there are some instructions, but if I follow them, they look, they will look in a bit weird, so especially these lines. So I decided not to use them at all because, well, it doesn't have a mono eye, it doesn't have any eyes, so there's no reason for me to actually use stickers. So yeah, I like the way how this is is. So th and also I was really satisfied with this kit. Uh, I decided to buy a Master Grade G Fighter. Uh, 
another non-mobile suit type master grade. So basically, it's a how should I say? It's a big space shuttle fighter thing, which can attach to Gundam 2.0. Uh, so I wonder if you can actually attach some parts with this guy, but I ha I hardly doubt it. So yeah, maybe next time the next review will be a Master Grade G Fighter if they still have them. I, the last time I saw in the store, they had like a, about four four of them left. Uh, let's hope they other people don't you know buy them at least leave one for me. So yeah, uh, this was the review of the Master Grade Gun Tank. Hope this was informative and helpful for those who are wa wanting to buy this. Uh, if you have any questions or requests, just leave a comment. And questions, I'll be, I'll try to answer them as much as possible. And by the way, those who are wondering, I live in Korea, so yeah. Uh, so that's why I, I don't really mention the price because these days the I don't know the currency rate is. So thank you for watching, uh, this was Charlie426 and let's hope we can see you guys again, thank you.